approximately 11.08 this morning, Canada Police Department was dispatched to the Canada Senior Academy at 435 East Street for a report of a shooting. Canada Police Department arrived shortly thereafter when we discovered a, uh, at the Canada Academy, 17 years old, apparently died of a inflicted gun wound. Um, the weapon that was used was a, a modified shotgun, had 30 rounds of ammunition on his person and his locker. Shortly thereafter, we notified other law enforcement agencies, state police, and the sheriff's department to ask for resources. A short time later, it was discovered that there was two IEDs, improvised, improvised explosive devices. Commonly known as a Molotov cocktail, essentially what it is, it's a glass bottle with some type of uh, fluid inside. We're not sure of the actual contents at this point. Um, with a rag stuffed in it, and the purpose would be to light it, and then it would explode seconds later. Um, after the lockdown, we decided it was prudent. We had no reason to believe that there was other people involved. But, uh, uh, this young man made a decision uh, that did not entail causing harm to others. I think that's critical no matter what may have been other types of options or things that he was thinking about. Um, obviously he did not do that and uh, did not, you know, make a, a, any kind of effort that we know of to harm anyone else here. Uh, we're obviously grateful for that. Well, communications when we're in a situation like this are always difficult. Uh, we have to make the best decision we can given what we know at the time. Obviously, we didn't know what might happen between other people in case there were other people involved. Did not know that at the time. So I can understand people being upset about having certain devices or you know, per personal communications that were not allowed during a certain period of time. We were trying to take the best step that we could given the information that we had at the time. Then once we had the information available that we had, then we took the next steps was to uh, make sure that we're going to have a safe building. We want to have it searched in order to do that properly. We want to have students removed. So we had students removed then down to the middle school. From the middle school, all, both our middle school and high school, uh, students ride buses together when they go home on a normal basis. And so we're going to have them all go home a little bit early today, but all together in the same bus route. But they were really